it's Dave. Welcome to another episode of Tech Tools Tuesday. Today, let's talk about leveraging the power of transcription. There are so many amazing tools to help take your audio and your video and create automatic transcriptions, in some cases, downloadable transcriptions, and in one case, which is amazing, so make sure you watch this all the way through, you can actually have automatic transcriptions done of your videos and your audios. People can search them. So search words that they heard and go directly to that part of the audio or video. It is amazing. If you've never seen it before, stick around because I'm going to show you something really cool. And uh, you'll be able to get a free trial of it as well if you want. So transcription is super powerful. Uh, it offers you the ability to not only assist those with uh, hearing challenges or difficulties, but also you can do some amazing things like quickly provide comprehensive meeting notes. So a lot of the stuff we're doing is online now, meetings and virtual events and things like that. There are some tools I'm going to share with you in this presentation where you can essentially record the audio, get it automatically transcribed, and then essentially right at the end of the meeting, right at the end of the session, email that transcript out to whoever needs access to it. Some of the tools I'm going to share with you also can identify the speakers. So if they've heard that speaker before, they can put their names on it. It's, it's really amazing. So cool things you can do with that. You can also write blog posts or a book. So maybe you uh, are driving around and you can have some hands-free technology, obviously, and you want to like record a quick blog post or something. You can do an audio thing and you can do this on your phone. You know, there's a little microphone you can click on and it'll do speech to text. I'm sure lots of you do that uh, occasionally text messaging, but you could quickly, you know, write blog posts maybe as you're making dinner, right? You could have your headphones in and you could just hit record and start talking and basically have the framework for a blog post. You'd obviously probably have to edit it, but I'll share with you some tools in this presentation that are really good with natural language and you don't have to do much editing, but you can even do a book. I know that sounds crazy, but there are people that I know that in a weekend essentially wrote an entire book by just dictating. They just talked about the chapters that they wanted to do. They got the transcript automatically created. They sent it to an editor on Fiverr or Upwork or one of those sites, or maybe you know an editor. They edited it, put it in a nice format for them, and they essentially had a book written, quote, written in a weekend, right? And they didn't write a single word of it. They spoke it all. It was all speech to text. So yes, that is possible. And I've seen people do it. And this was not just some silly little book. This is somebody who had a lot of success selling this book. It's a bestseller, actually. You can also provide value added resource in your courses. So one of the best things to do if you're creating online courses is to make sure that you're helping people with the different kind of learning modalities. Some people learn audio, visual, some people like to read it, some people like to hear it, some people like to read it and hear it and watch it. And some people like to actually do it, right? Tactile learning or experiential learning. That's kind of hard to deliver online, but if you can have downloadable transcripts that people can read and follow along as they're listening, sometimes that helps with retention of the information. And here's one I was talking about a few minutes ago. Allow users to search your content and go directly to that part of your audio or video. Yes, this is amazing. So I create a ton of content. You probably create a ton of content. One of the challenges is there's so much content. Where do you go to find the information that you need to find? So maybe you heard me say something in my podcast, in my Unleash the Awesome podcast. Maybe you heard me say something on a Facebook Live or something, and you're not really sure where you heard it. I'll show you where you can set something up where you could type it in and it'll take you directly, not only directly to that video or audio, but directly to the second in that audio or video where I said that thing. And then you'll be able to find it. This, this is amazing. Okay. So let's talk about it. I'm going to do a quick demo of some of these things and show you the websites. The, the ones I'm going to talk about today are Google Docs and Microsoft Word, Otter, Rev, and Searchy. Okay. Let's start with Google Docs, Microsoft Word. I bet you didn't know this but both of these platforms allow you to do speech to text. It's not the best at natural language though. You kind of have to speak like a robot and you have to put in punctuation and stuff like that, but it is possible. So let me show you really fast. I'll show you a demo in um, Google Documents. I'll also have the links to all of these things below and links to the help documents and things like that so you can get access to it quickly. You could do a similar thing in Microsoft Word or Word 365. I'm not going to demo that for you, but I'll share a link that shows you how to do that. Okay, so this is in Google Documents. You have to do this in a Chrome browser. It might also work in the Edge browser. I'm not sure. I've not tried it, but I know it does not work in Firefox, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't work in Safari. So if you open a Google Documents document in a Chrome browser, and you click on Tools, and then you go to Voice Typing, you can click on it there, and then you'll see right here it says Click to Speak. And when I start speaking, 
you'll see on the screen that it starts picking up my language, period, new line. So you'll see that I had to say new line for it to go to a new line, period, new line. So you also have to put the punctuation, exclamation point. So you'll see how that's a pretty good thing. It's, it's um, I hit the stop button there so it doesn't keep doing it. Uh, but you have to speak kind of robotically and put the punctuation, things like that. So the cool thing is it's free. Uh, the bad thing is it's not the best in natural language and picking it up, but it's available to you there. Okay, so again, Google Documents in a Chrome browser. You can also do Microsoft Word and Word 365, okay? The next one I want to talk about with you today is uh, Otter. Okay, Otter, otter.ai. If you go to gambrel.com slash otter, you can get access to one of their pro light plans where you can get some extra features. It's freemium, so you, you can get a free account and then you can get up to, I think, 60 minutes. Uh, well, actually, let's go look. Uh, and it's also amazing with natural speaking. I'll do a demo for you in a second. Um, here's the plans from Otter. You'll see there's a free plan. Uh, I think you get, yeah, uh, 600 minutes a month. And here's all the things you get. There's a paid plan where you get up to 6,000 minutes of recording time slash transcription. And here's all the, the features and stuff you get. Um, again, if you go to gamble.com slash otter, you'll get a pro light plan where you can try out uh, some of these advanced features. But let me share the power of otter with you, okay? So I'm going to open a new note. And you'll see here that ever since I clicked it, it is now picking up my language. And it actually does a really good job of automatically picking up the punctuation and the nuanced speech. Pretty neat, right? Now you'll see in that case, it didn't pick up the question mark. But when I pause a little bit, it picks up a new line and just starts automatically. And sometimes it will go back and even correct on the fly based on the context of the conversation, which is freaking amazeballs. <laughs> so you'll see in that case, it did not pick up amazeballs, but the cool thing about Otter is if you have one of their paid plans, you can go in and put what's called a custom dictionary and it will automatically start to pick up some of the things that you put in there. So maybe you use terms like uh, Kajabi and when you say that, it might not pick it up, but you'll see in this case, it did get it because that's in my uh, dictionary, my custom dictionary that I have in there. It might also pick up click funnels, and it did, and see how it capitalized it as a proper noun. So uh, Otter, this is Otter. It's super awesome. It also, uh, let me share with you, it also, if you have a, a paid plans, it has some really cool uh, features where it works with, I think this was on their main page here, uh, it works with Zoom. So it it integrates with Zoom. I think you have to have a paid plan for that. It integrates with Google Teams. It integrates with uh, a bunch of other things. It, it is amazing. And the nice thing about this, like I mentioned in the opening, is you can record meetings and at the end of the meeting, just automatically send out the transcript to people. They'll have the entire meeting transcribed. One of the other things I do sometimes when I'm in online meetings or virtual events or whatever, and obviously you have to check the uh, user agreement or the terms of service that you have with the event or with the meeting, uh, because and in some areas, people need to know it's being recorded, things like that. So as long as people know it's being recorded and you're okay to record it, sometimes what I'll do is I'll open up Otter in a separate tab, and then it will automatically capture what's ever going on in my Zoom meeting. As long as it can pick up the audio, right? I'm not listening through it through earbuds or whatever. It will pick it up. And you'll see I left it open over here on purpose on this other tab, and you'll see it's been recording the entire time and picked it all up, which is pretty amazing. Okay, so that's otter. Gamble.com slash otter will get you there. And uh, you can check that out, okay? All right, the next one I wanna talk about really quick is Rev. Many of you have probably heard of that. It's uh, it's a paid service. It's This is what I use sometimes if I really need to get things buttoned up and good for presentation. So if I needed to put this out there and I was gonna sell this transcript or I was gonna use it maybe in my courses or something, I might use some of the outputs from these other services to get me a, a pretty close transcript. And then I would send it to Rev uh, I'd send the audio and the transcript, or even if I don't have a transcript, just send the audio or the video to Rev, and they'll do it. It costs a uh, dollar twenty-five per minute. They could do captions as well for your videos, and sometimes what I use Rev for is foreign languages. So most of the stuff that I present 
I do in English, but I do have some customers in other countries and things like that that uh, I need to translate things. So occasionally I use Rev to translate that. By the way, I don't know if you saw that, but I just looked at my watch because I got a notification. You probably won't be able to see it in this uh, presentation, but it was Otter telling me that my note is now ready for what I just did in that presentation. Yeah. So, all right. So this is Rev. You might want to check it out. It's, again, it's a paid thing. Uh, I do not have an affiliate link for it. So you just go to Rev.com and you can check that out. And then the last one I'm going to share with you today is Searchy. You probably have not heard of this one, but I saved the best for last because this thing is freaking amazing. It will handle both audio and video and it has an amazing feature set. So let me show you really fast just from their, um, from their website what you could do with Searchy. Okay, and if you go to gambrel.com slash get Searchy, I'll put that link for you uh, wherever you're watching this, you can get a free trial. It has video hosting and management, so it can essentially, it's like Vimeo or YouTube or something like that. It actually will host your videos for you. It has audio and video sharing, so you can share directly from their platform, which is pretty neat. It has screen recording and capturing, so very much like I'm doing this presentation right now on a service called Loom, Searchy also has a Chrome extension where you can record your screen and do a voiceover just like this, do a screencast just like this, and it will automatically transcribe it. Um, I didn't want to do it though because I'm going to demo some of the stuff they're doing, so it was hard for me to, to do that and overlap them. It has automated transcriptions and captions in 30 plus languages and dialects, and here's a cool thing. You can download those transcripts, so they're, they're really awesome, but here's the thing that's amazing. This is powered by search. There are so many use cases for this, it's amazing. But I'll share with you in a second all the content that I have and how it would be impossible to, to go right to something. But Searchy gives you the ability, because it does a transcript, you can then search the transcripts and it will take you directly to that part in the video where it's time stamped and you can watch the video from that part. I'll show you that in a second. It's amazing. And they have a ton of integrations already with Facebook, Dropbox, Wistia, podcast hosts, uh, Zoom Pro, Google Drive, Vimeo, Zapier, and all kinds of other platforms, and they keep adding more and more. I was a very early user of Searchy. I was actually one of their beta users, and it is it just keeps getting better. I thought it was amazing when I first saw it. It is friggin' incredible right now. So let me go over to my Searchy account so you can see how it works. You'll see here in this folder, uh, Digital Marketing Mentorship with Dave Gambrell. I do Facebook Lives almost every day in my Facebook group. If you haven't come, uh, if you haven't checked it out, come visit us. Uh, I'll make sure I share the link to it. But again, it's a digital marketing mentorship with Dave Gambrell. You'll see, if I go back to the folder here, there are over 600, uh, right now, 675 files. So basically what it has done is it has picked up automatically because they have this feature set up. They have picked up my Facebook Live and they put it in here and they automatically transcribed it. You'll see it's hosted here. And if I click play, you're not necessarily going to be able to hear it, but... Uh, you will see that it has given created a transcription right here. And it's all set over here on the side. And if I wanted to search by it, I could, which is pretty neat. You can listen to it at one and a, uh, at faster speeds if you want. Watch it at faster speeds. All kinds of cool things you could do with it, okay? So this was all done automatically because I hooked up the integration to Facebook and Searchy. It pulled this automatically in the background, uh, and it just automatically did it, which is pretty cool. So let's say... Uh, I'm trying to remember what I spoke about yesterday in this Facebook Live. Let's say uh, I wanted to talk about outsourcing, right? How to outsource maybe some of your digital marketing stuff. And I click that word and you'll see it automatically highlighted the word outsource. And if I wanted to, I could click on this little timestamp bar and it'll take directly to that part of the video where I said these things and you can watch the video. It is, it is amazing. Think about that. If you have a podcast and you hook up Searchy to your podcast and you tell people in your podcast episodes, hey, did you hear something before but you can't remember where you heard it and you want to go back and research it? Just go to whatever.com slash search podcast or whatever link you come up with and you can have people search all of your podcast episodes. I have my podcast episodes uh, baked in here as well. So you'll see if I go down to um, Unleash the Awesome, okay, it has picked up my podcast episodes and you'll see they're already in there. It creates uh, basically an audiogram type setup. And if I click play, you'll see over here, here's a transcript. Okay. It's, it's so amazing. And so something you can do with that if you want is you could create something where people could actually search 
all of your things, all right? So I created an opt-in page. If you go to gamble.com slash wow, this is one of the ways that I used it, okay? Here's a video of me talking about my digital marketing membership Facebook group and the archives and how there's 600 videos in there, almost 700 videos, right? If you click this video, you'll see it. And I say, hey, there's so much information. You wanna be able to search it. How would you do it? So I created an opt-in page, right, to build my email list. And if I put my information in there and click let me in, the one it does is it takes me to this page right here, okay, Digital Marketing Mentorship Facebook Lives. All this is is the outward uh, widget, it's called, in Searchy of this folder that I set up right here, okay? So it has all 675 things. And so if I were to go over here and search, like I just said, the word outsource, okay, I know that will show up. Okay, outsource. Here's all the different times I set it, all the different videos. It has them all laid out here, nice and filed for you. So it's all set up, right? So even in the Facebook Lives I've done recently, February 17th, there it is. Okay, all the way back in January, uh, November 7th of last year, October 29th of 2018, you'll see it's all there laid out for you. But you'll, one of the things I talked about in this presentation was Otter, right? So you can actually search that and if you click on this button right here, it will open the video where I talked about that and take you right to that part of the video where I mentioned it, okay? Now, if you wanna put the transcripts on the screen uh, or the captions on the screen, you can most certainly do that. You can put them on and follow along. Uh, so that is there for it as well, okay? So that is Searchy. Again, if you go to gamble.com slash uh, get Searchy, I'll put the link there wherever you're watching this, uh, you'll be able to get a free trial to that and check it out. It is really amazing. And there's so many cool things you can do with it. I integrate it with uh, my courses on Kajabi. You can actually do a standalone membership group right in Searchy. They have this new feature called Hubs. Uh, if you want to hook up a payment processor and stuff to it, you can do things like that, but it's really neat. So it's one way where they've taken transcripts to a whole nother level and really have helped you be able to have a better user experience so that the folks that are consuming your content can consume it in a way that helps them immediately. Because one of the things we know from creating content online, one of the reasons why people will quit your membership group or quit following you or quit listening to your podcast or whatever is information overwhelm. So in this case, Searchy helps reduce that overwhelm. Okay, so that's it for today's episode of Tech Talk, uh, Tech Tools Tuesday. If somebody sent this to you or you want to make sure you get all of the episodes, make sure you go to gamble.com slash TTT. You can make, get on my list. Make sure you get the emails that go out every Tuesday for Tech Talks Tuesday. Uh, and sometimes I share the episodes from previous weeks as well. So you make sure you get those and tell a friend about this because what I know to be true is a lot of people get stuck in this idea of paradox of choice. There's so many things you could be using for your tech tools. There's literally over 8,000 of them. The people get stuck in analysis paralysis, and I don't want that to happen to you. I want to share the tools, the tricks, the apps, the resources that will help you move forward in your business, and that's what I do on these episodes of Tech Talk Tuesday. All right, uh, Tech Tools Tuesday. I don't know why I keep saying Tech Talk Tuesday. Maybe that's what I should have called it, Tech Tools Tuesday. All right, and you'll see, I don't edit this. I leave it all in there. Those of you that are like, I can't do this. I need to edit stuff. No, nah, just do your stuff. Provide value. People will love it. People like the flubs anyway. Maybe you could create a, a blooper reel at the end. Uh, but if you want to make sure you get all these episodes, again, go to gamble.com slash TTT for Tech Tools Tuesday. All right, hope this served you. See you later.